Hello to all the Taurus, uh, Taurus to all the Taurians uh, out there. Hello and welcome to these horoscopes for October 2012 for the sign of Taurus in general. Now let's have a look. It's very exciting for Taurus people because there's so much activity going on in the seventh house, in your, in the house of other people, of uh, people who are very close to you and. Um, the one-to-one -one interactions that you're having with uh, other people. Now, let's have a look. First of all, I was talking about Saturn trining Neptune uh, during the month of October. And that's going to be for a good thing for everyone. Now, for you, this happens in your seventh house. Um, so Saturn is, is just entering the seventh house and it bumps in into Neptune in your eleventh house. So um, what is this all about? This is going to be that Saturn in the seventh house is a transit for many years, for approximately two years. It means that the relationships um, that you have, or the relationship that you're having one on one, is is um, going to make a shift. Is going to maybe it's going to be more mature. Maybe for a lot of Taurians who have who have not a good relationship. It's going to show and it's going to demand a shift. Um, doesn't mean to say to end the relationship, but the least thing that should be done is a shift and making some, um, some changes. Uh, but it can also mean um, when you're in a relationship that you really are going to structure it um and and you really feel this very you, f you really feel very responsible towards each other that, that's also the meaning of saturn in your seventh house now when you're not having a relationship it can also um mean that you are going to try to attract people that are mature that are serious that are saturn like so that could be the case that you are going to attract that kind of people. It doesn't mean to say that there is not a big chance of, of um, meeting uh, new people. It simply means that the people that you're going to meet or the people that you're going to stand open for are going to be Saturn-like, so quite serious. Maybe a bit older than you, or a bit lot, a lot older than you. Um, but anyways, that's, that's, um, Saturn is really in the seventh house manifesting that serious interesting relationship that you're having but it's also trining neptune in the 11th so there is affinity when it comes to mutual uh friendship and when it comes to um uh being aligned with with the same ideals and with the same goals that you're having you and that other person and it's very beautiful you are going to be able to manifest that in a way you're going to be able to manifest your ideals and you're going to be to, yes that's that's it you're going to be able to manifest your ideals when it considers those two houses the, the the goals and and the relationship that's a very beautiful thing now what else is happening um what else is happening there's a building up towards the middle of the month and uh, it involves uh, Mars, Venus, and which is your ruler, and Jupiter. Now, what is this all about? Um, Mars is in Sagittarius, and it's, in Sagittarius, Mars is bold. Mars is very straightforward. Mars wants to do what it wants to do. Okay, and this for you is in your eighth house. So there is a focus of worth of other people self um, worth of other people and your own self-worth because jupiter the planet of expansion is in your second house so and it's your second house is not only your talents it's your assets material um but also um the things that you value in life and it is clear that a lot of of, of uh, taurus taurians are going to learn um, how to get self-worth from themselves rather than from that the worth of that other person if that makes sense um, so uh, they're going to put a lot of action and maybe the only advice I want to give is not to push too hard because that's reflecting in this Mars opposing Jupiter Mars is already quite fiery in Sagittarius 
and when it opposes Jupiter, it's overconfidence. So maybe you want to do things over the top. But that's the only advice that I'm going to give you. It also squares up to your ruler in the fifth house. So Venus in the fifth is beautiful. Venus in, in, in the house of creativity is lovely. It's, it's romance. It's, it's, it's creativity. Um, it, it's uh, getting along with your kids. It's getting along with... Um, uh, or being able to be very creative in, in almost a beautiful way and in a very specific way because it's in Virgo. So um, it can mean this, that these areas of your life are all triggered and that you're gaining your self-worth through all that self-expression and that self-worth of other people. But it's in a, in, in a kind of, it's in a square so it doesn't go very smoothly. But nevertheless, you will be fine. And I'm saying this again because um, not just to, to cuddle or anything because um, there is a new moon in uh, Libra and it's on the fixed star speaker. And fixed stars are overruling um, a lot of... Um, uh, if you're doing a chart and there is a fixed star or a transit on a fixed star, it really is very important. You could say that you're going to be fine is one of the most important sentences that I'm saying here in the monthly horoscopes because it's true. Um, no matter how, how difficult it is, what you want to achieve, uh, what you want to manifest, you know, what I talked about in the beginning, these ideals with that other person. Now, no matter how difficult, you, you, you're going to be fine. And um, uh, that uh, that is happening in your sixth house, that new moon. So that, that protection comes from your day-to-day -day stuff that you're trying to do in order to achieve uh, those uh, higher ideals that you want to, or, or you're very trying to manifest itself. And um, for many of us, uh, and also for Taurians, um, new beginnings are involved because Jupiter in that second house of yours, that house, actually that house of Taurus, the second house is associated with Taurus. Now, Jupiter in there is going retrograde as from the 5th of October. So it shows that there is a lot of rethinking stuff going on with that. But it's also going to conjunct the, another fixed star, which is called Aldebaran. And that's the star of new beginnings. That's why I think that this whole thing is going on in the middle of the month. is going to open up uh, some new beginnings because it opposes Mars, that Jupiter, and Mars is on the fixed star of endings uh, and cutting off. So um, uh, Mars is on and Towers in Sagittarius. So it's very much about, you know, ending a cycle and uh, starting a new one. And it could also mean on a very mundane level, money from other people, money, your money, and trying to rearrange that in order that everything um, is going to be better for you in some kind of way. So, very interesting for Taurus. Um, I wish you all the best for the month of October. And if you want me to look at your personal chart, because these are very general charts, of course, then uh, get in touch. And um, I, I, as I said, I wish you all the best and see you uh, next month. Bye-bye.